So you, the main thing is just to stick with it. No matter what happens, if that's what you want to do, you got to stick with that. And especially in this in the iron sports. Um, I'd say when I was younger, it was like, it's kind of like a cartoon figure. Like you knew it was there, but it was like, it's your dad. So it's not that, it's not that big of a deal. And then as I got older and understood like the sport and what it really takes to like get to that level, um, I kind of see it as like, it's a big deal. So I won the world championship several times in drug free powerlifting. And also I competed in the world's strongest man competition which is the pinnacle of af strength athletics. Just take a look at this. James Perry of the United States, the biggest man of all. His physique almost blotting out the skyline. And for Perry, it's almost a case of the irrepressible force against the immovable object. And Perry just leaning. He's leaning forward. I mean, looking back is, is something that I'm very proud of. But at the time, I... I wasn't too happy. I wanted to win. My father wasn't a weightlifter or anything like that. My father was a, a farmer. And um, we had a lot of things that we could do to duplicate the competitions, the, the competition uh, events. So he had put together some innovative ways to to uh, make it similar to what I was gonna do in competition. Cause my, my father, was, you wouldn't believe this, my father was a little small man, he was about this tall. And uh, he wasn't big at all, he probably weighed 150 pounds. And you know, to see him out there just, you know, helping me get everything ready to go to competition, it was, it was great, it's really great. You know, I want him to reach his goal, which is to be the world's strongest man but I also had that same goal for him. Well, he always, since he's been a little boy, he always wanted to do strength, because I guess he saw me doing, because they always have my trophies or whatever around. So we started off just small, started in, in the garage. And then I would take him to the fitness center that I would go to, and he'd go but even before he started lifting. So he started lifting when he was in middle school. When he used to go in the gym, I used to go to the gym, like we just, like, I wouldn't even be lifting, I'd just be there watching. It's a really good relationship, like a best friend type thing. When our strengths were pretty much even, um, when he was in high school, you know, I was like, you, you'll never catch me. You're never you're not gonna get as strong as me. And he would always try to do what I could do. So it was a lot of fun, it was really a lot of fun. Best friends, like, I mean, it's still, you know, father, son, like respect, everything like that, but it's pretty much best friends. I call him every morning. Um, Ask him what's he doing. Um, we talk back and forth, trash talk, whatever. Um, I tell him something new I learned. He tells me something old that he already knew that's the same thing because I know like where he's been and like what he's done. So it's like still in the back of my head. And it's always like, I want to be better. And he always says like, what I did back then is great, but what you do now is more important. So like just pushing past what he has done is he has already set like a mark so just kind of going above and beyond that. I want to win the World's Strongest Man competition. That's the ultimate goal, to win the World's Strongest Man competition and be the best power lifter in the world. He knows your goal and he knows what it takes to get to the goal. All it's gonna take is a, a plan and we just follow that plan. It's a test of strength as well as endurance. You stick with it and you gotta believe in yourself. It's just like the pump that you feel when you lift. It's like your muscles are just being filled with air and it's just a great feeling. It really is. From the sport of powerlifting, I want to be the first person to ever squat and deadlift a thousand in the same meet. Um, I also want to be a IPF Pro, International Powerlifting Federation Pro. I feel really lucky to just have someone who's been to the point where you're trying to get to, has been so successful, kind of be there. And it's kind of like, there's really nothing you could ask for better than like the the dude who's done what you've done is your dad.